الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد. It's important for us during this holy month of Ramadan and other than Ramadan to spend for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To use your wealth on khair. The money that you earn, the halal earnings that you, you gain, the lawful earnings, to spend it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But especially during this holy month. And as we are aware with, with all the uh, fitna and trials and tribulations that are going on through the world, there are so many people in need. Look at the famines now in, in Somalia. Or, uh, and, and also on the borders of Ethiopia and Kenya. Those places are in great need. The people in the Ivory Coast, the people in the, the difficulties our brothers and sisters are having in Syria, they're having difficulties in Yemen, they're having difficulties all around the world. And the believer, if they spend, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for them and they won't lose anything. Let's look at the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and especially during this holy month of Ramadan. Why? Because during the Ramadan, the ajr, the reward is increased and the need of the people is even greater. Look at the trials right now. There's fighting and there's killing in Syria, fighting and killing in Yemen, and all kind of turmoil and struggle and, and famine in Somalia. And this is what? During the holy month of Ramadan. So your ajr, your reward for making uh, ease for your brothers and sisters will be increased. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه يبلغ عن به يبلغ به نبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال قال الله تبارك وتعالى يا ابن آدم أنفك أنفك إليك متفق عليه this very short and simple hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم which is known as one of the hadith of Qudsi and in this hadith this is a hadith that the Prophet وسلم, as was narrated by Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه that he uh, informed us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this this is what Allah the Almighty the one who we worship the only one worthy of worship said Allah the Almighty said he said spend children, uh, uh, son of Adam and I will spend upon you this Hadith is so short, but full of such great meaning and impact. If only we would practice it. I advise myself first, and then those listening, to practice this hadith of the Prophet wasallam. And in fact, this is a hadith of Qudsi, a hadith of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was related to us from the Prophet wasallam. So in this very short uh, hadith, we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is urging us to spend. And we have so many different ways in which we can spend in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Especially in this time of difficulty. You can spend from your various forms of wealth through uh, feeding people, feeding the poor, or uh, you know, having iftar for people who uh, do not have much to eat, or even people who have something to eat, but you're sharing... And, and helping your brother and sister Muslim break their fast or even feeding non-Muslims non-Muslims that are in need those people who are, are having difficulty in their life or those people who, who uh, that you want to show them the, the beauty of Islam and you invite them to break fast with you even this is a form of spending but to spend in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is even greater to do it for the sake of pleasing your Lord subhanahu then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide for you. And the meaning of unfaq alayk, uh, that Allah will spend upon you, Allah said, I will spend upon you, if you spend, then I will spend upon you. The meaning of this, as the, the scholars mention, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not decrease any of your wealth from spending in His cause. So when you spend, if you give $10 to the poor who don't have anything to eat, or you send $100 to Ethiopia for the people to, to, to break their fast or to uh, feed the people who are in famine, then this will not increase your wealth even a bit, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will in, even increase it, and He will put blessings in it. So this is an exhortion for us, especially during this holy month of Ramadan, that we should encourage ourselves, spend, even if it's one dollar, even if you have an extra dollar, even if you just reach in your wallet and you don't look at what you pull out, Pull it out and give it to someone who's in need for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you'll be rewarded greatly. 
And I ask Allah the Almighty to help us to spend in His cause and not to hoard our wealth because if we die hoarding our wealth, we will be punished severely by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and accept our fasting and accept all of our good all of our good deeds. Anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan. Anything that I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi.